Hello and welcome to another podcast. Uh, first and foremost, uh, our apologies for the delay between episode two and this one, episode three. Uh, it's been a busy time of year for us and um, predominantly because we are going about and running chili eating competitions across the UK. So we thought actually that's a pretty good uh, subject for a podcast. So you're here with me, Jay, and I've got with me Chili Dave once again. Hello, I'm Chili Dave. <laughs> uh, the novelty of a microphone it still doesn't wear off does it no yeah. well no I've, I've put my phone to uh, radio silence so uh, hopefully <coughs> no beeps buzzes and things like that yeah well, well done mate <laughs> I've, I've mine's in the other room so yeah. hey uh, anyway yeah so we thought we'd have a chat about chili competitions because it's it's something that's been quite successful for us um as a club um we if you've uh, ever come across our YouTube channel, you'll see there's quite a lot of chili eating competitions on there, and um, the the viewership of which is 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 very high. So thank you, obviously, to anybody that's watched those because uh, it makes a difference to us. Um, they're a lot of fun, and we thought, well, actually, what we probably do is explain how we actually got into it in the first place because the club isn't simply a one trick pony. It isn't all about chili eating competitions. Um, so, I mean, both you and I have actually been on the other side of the microphone, really, haven't we? We've actually... Oh, we've done it um, many times. Yeah, we've actually sat there as contestants um, on a number of occasions and actually taken part in chilli eating competitions. And a number of them as well. And uh, there's quite a few. I mean, it's quite ironic because actually if you... There are... Because some people do ask us, oh, have you ever done chilli eating competitions? Well, yeah, yeah, we have. And... There are, on our YouTube channel, there are some footage of us actually in the chili eating competitions and actually competing. Um, we've won some and we've lost some. <laughs> I'd say we've probably <laughs> lost more than we've won. Yeah, um, I think if you can win it once and win it comfortably, then you're in with a chance. But I think if you win it once and it takes you apart, then I think... Uh, I've always argued there's a psychology involved that second time round, you, you know what's coming, and I think your brain just says, hang on a minute, <laughs> and your stomach. The, yeah, well, that's, that's, that's a, I mean, you know, you, you guys out there, um, you don't really know us, as in <laughs> our history and everything like that, and sort of like, I'm an ex-medic, um, I did 25 years in the in the British Army, I um, was a paramedic, so... Uh, Seen a lot of things, served all over the world in different conflicts, not going to go into that. Um, however, I've got quite a knowledgeable medical background and it's the psychology, it's what you're doing to yourself and it's the pain. And it's interesting because you're not causing any damage to yourself. However, um, if you do have an underlying condition that you don't know about it, then or you do know about it, you think you're going to be brave, and that can be silly. I mean, what, I mean... You're saying you should know better, basically. Yeah, I, <laughs> I never learn from my mistakes, unfortunately. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a typical bloke. You're supposed to learn more from your mistakes than you do your successes, apparently. Yeah. But I think, I think, I just want to go back years. I mean, one one of, I think one of the first few chili eating competitions I did, I think, was grill stock, believe it or not. Um, I know I've done a number there. Uh, Upton Cheney. Yeah, uh, I did Upton Cheney as well. Yeah, yeah, I'd won Upton Cheney, I believe, if I remember rightly. Um, I've done it twice, I think. Yeah, because I, I the, and it's interesting because it's you know, you see us. We now host chili in competitions, so we're behind the camera or comparing or filming or handing out the chilies. Um, but what the great thing is is actually we know because we've been there. And, you know, I, I, me personally, if I knew someone like that, I'd ho have more respect for them. Yeah. You know, whereas if you get Joe Bloggs, who runs a chili eating competition and, and either doesn't like chilies or has never actually participated in a chili eating competition, I wouldn't say it's hypocritical, but I'd have much more respect for someone that I knew that actually, do you know what? You sat exactly where I am. Yeah, you've been through this. You know. I think. I think as well as as hosts, it's a lot easier for us to communicate with any audience as well as to what's happening with these people because it's not just um, it's not just heat, is it? It's no, the no. it's the fact that you you can't drink, so you can't extinguish the heat. 
Um, and some of the chilies, I mean, let's be honest, some of the chilies we dish out these days are monstrous in their size. They're ludicrous. And you're filling up. Yeah. That's the other thing. You're actually filling yeah. up. I mean, we, uh, see, there you go. You know, you've got the filling up, then you've got the psychological thing. Um, you know, I mean, we're quite keen. We try and do our chili in competitions in a certain time span because of the audience. You know, if it goes, I mean, oh, we. We watched one last year, didn't we? And it went on for what an hour and a half, hour yeah. and three quarters. Yeah, it was, was Germany, wasn't it? Yeah, I wasn't going to say it. Oh, it's uh, fine, it's fine. <laughs> but I, it was it was painful to watch because it just went on for so long, and I think there was a hundred contestants or something. Um, yeah, well, I think there was fifty each day, so yeah. hundred contestants over the weekend. But ju- you know, and, and I think you know, yeah. You know, if I'm stood there in the audience, you, you, you know, I don't, I don't spend an hour and a half watching. <laughs> well, like, we we came and went. We just had a little look around the corner every now and again, and then yeah. just kind of went back. Wait so. for a load more cheers and go back. Yeah. Um, but I think I think you know, with quantity and everything like that. Well, I mean, we're selective. We're trying to get the biggest pods and everything like that. It's you know, but it's not. It's also for the, the contestant. They look at it and go, "Oh my lord!" And then, <laughs> but also. It's good viewing for the crowd because yeah. they can actually see the chili. Because if you've got a huge audience, yeah, um, you know we're lucky. I mean, we 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 do do festivals all around the country. You know, and there's ones we go to where you've got a tiny little stage um, and it's a basic setup, but it does for the event. However, we do do one event, Grill Stock, um, where they have a five meter plus back screen. They have three cameras doing live feed onto that. So. And you've got an audience of fifteen thousand people. Well, the you know the crowd is a hundred meters deep, mm. um, and they can't see it, but they can see the five meter screen. Yeah. Um, do you know what I lo- do? You know what I love about chili eating competitions at Grill Stock? It's irony at its best. It's the only vegan event at a meat festival. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever thought about that? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a vegan competition. Well, well, at least they get one of their five a day, then, don't they? Yeah, yeah. well, they are. I think after I think technically after four chilies, it's uh, depending yeah. on the chilies, it's, yeah. it's one of their five a day. So we're, we're actually doing them good then. <laughs> Absolutely. We're, we're, we're making sure that they've been to it like a barbecue festival. Yeah. That they've gone round, absolutely guzzled down loads of meat and everything like that. Listen to the music, and then we bring the mayhem to the yeah, to, absolutely to the uh, the festival. But it's, um, you know, and we there you go. There's your veg for the day. Um, yeah. But yeah, it, it's yeah, that's quite ironic actually. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, the way chili. Eating competitions work with us, and it seems to be a pretty tried and tested method now. Is we um, we always give the same set of rules no matter where we go, yeah. and I like that. So the, the rules are always quite simple. It's you know you, we, we put milk in front of our contestants, and therefore it's there to tempt them. But it's also if they want to bow out of the competition, then they can take a drink of the milk. It's going to help alleviate the heat to a, to a degree. Um, so if you drink, you're out of the competition, but the yeah. milk is there, isn't it? Yeah. Um, then we've got. Uh, rule number two, which is you know, if you reject the chili, and that's Vomit. a very yeah, so that's a very politically correct or nice way of saying <laughs> throw it Vomit. up, throw it up. Uh, very few competitions these days without one. No, no. Most people are throwing up now, so. and that's that's quite funny as well because <laughs> normally what happens is a chain reaction. It is, yeah. You get one person gags or starts gagging, um, and starts retching, or just goes for a complete throw up situation, then you will normally find that that's it, it's a chain reaction, you're going to get more than one that goes. Um, I yeah. think we've had it before, we've had f- four or five, just one after another going, <laughs> like that. Yeah, I've got to be honest, it's not the most pleasant job cleaning that up. No. No, I mean, I know we give them bags and buckets and whatnot to throw up in, but not everybody's I- got a good aim. I found apart from uh, apart from the East Nor this year, where one guy was sat on the end, yeah. threw up down the side of the table and onto the stage, um, left the competition because obviously he rejected the chili, and then promptly went around the front and cleaned it up. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> okay. I don't remember that. Thank you very but, much. Yeah. No, I can't. I can't stand it. And I mean, Nick, um, he's he's great. Um, you know, stage hand and you know part of the obviously the club and part of the the crew. He's a diamond. Um, yeah, I mean, he, he just. Bang! I just got, and uh, some of you are going to probably say, "Hang on, mate, you said you're a medic." Um, yeah, that, I retired what two two years ago, two and a half years ago. Um, yeah, my 
for some, you know, uh, I've seen some pretty awful stuff, um, and my body now just doesn't like it. Um, it's like dog poo. I, <laughs> I t- uh, ugh, dog poo. But you know, if I see dog poo, it makes me wretch. You don't even own a dog. Oh, God, <laughs> That's probably no. a good thing. Oh, horrible. <laughs> but anyway, but it, it, it makes me wretch. But um, yeah, sometimes it does get messy on stage, doesn't it? Um, yeah, oh, yeah, it really does. <laughs> but um, it's just a part of the course. I mean, actually, it's doing them a favour anyway. I mean, yeah. you don't really want a lot of chilies in your system. I mean, we always give that advice anyway, don't we? Yeah. I mean, especially afterwards, we yeah. turn around to contestants and say, especially if they've gone quite far into the competition, it's yeah. like you've got a gut full of food right now. Yeah. Um, it's going to feel like torture. Because, I mean, you and I have both been there, capsaicin cramps, as we call them. Yeah. Um, they're just cramps, yeah. one of the worst things. I mean, yeah. I've been pacing around fields of the middle of nowhere at 2am I mean where I've just ingested something so ridiculous um, and I've not thrown it up because that, re- that reminds me of Upton when <laughs> yeah that's where it was yeah and I did the I think there's a video on there anyway but did the came first I think I came joint first and we ended up with a chilli I think or no no it was a teaspoon of the bomb the bomb yeah. yeah and then had that so extract sauce yeah and it was drawn and it must have been 45 minutes later, I literally was doubled over in cramps. I had a guy uh, with me, um, and then Matt Simpson walked past and going, that guy needs an ambulance. And the, the, <laughs> the chap that was with me just says, no, it's all right. He's, he's an ex-medic. No, I was actually still in the army then. He goes, oh, no, he's a medic. It tell me if I need to call an ambulance. And I'm lying there, and I was literally crying, <laughs> sweating, and... I was in I was in the the fetal position, um, absolutely dying crap. But then, half an hour of that, I was fine. No, oh. I wasn't. About four hours later, when oh, yeah. yeah, that's that's I get that quite often. I some people do suffer from, it. and it'd be interesting, you guys out there. Um, some people do when they have. I mean, only half an hour ago, I went to the. Um, the toilet and because I had a large amount of chili last night um, it uh, reminded me this morning so that's going through <laughs> Bristol sewers at the moment um, but <laughs> it'd be interesting to know you guys out there because some people do get ring sting yeah um, and some people don't because you don't do no it. I don't I don't no. suffer I, I get cat cramps yeah but that's that's it yeah that's it and even Maybe. those I mean my tolerance has grown over the years yeah um, don't get me wrong I'll, I'll still feed it on the super hot yeah. um, but no I'm alright ah uh, we talk about ring sting uh, <laughs> where's this going dude <laughs> yeah <I know. laughs> talk about ring sting Johnny Cash ring of fire uh, <laughs> um, but it's only ever happened a few times but when I know when I've had a serious serious amount of either extract or chilies, that even when I urinate pee sting yeah. I've had that yeah. Oh man, that reminds me of something when I was younger. Um, <laughs> course of antibiotics, I'll get cleared that up. Um, but it, oh, that is so painful, man. It's, just, it's horrible. Oh. It's, it's like trying to pee razor blades. Hot razor blades. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's like trying to pass barbed wire. It's just oh, horrible, yeah. horrible yeah. thing. But I've only ever had that with extracts. Yeah. And when I've had a lot of extract, yeah, yeah, which yeah. is never advisable anyway. No, I think but. I had it. I think I had it after. Um, an, one that I do know was Meet Your Maker. Meet Your Maker, yeah, mm. definitely. I definitely had it after that. Yeah, definitely had it's after funny. That. Actually, I was speaking with the producers of that sauce uh, this week and just saying, I think we've only just got over it, and this is three years on. <laughs> anyway, I digress. <laughs> but, yeah, I think there's a psychology of it. Anyway, <laughs> um, I chilli and I mean, one of the amazing things as well is, is, is we can do it without the contestants. And it's the psychology of the contestants. They are absolutely... Um, but we've done it, so we know. But it's just... People just want to do it. Um, they might only do it once, but you do get people mm. that come back and come back. Yeah. And try and... You get do. all kinds as well. There's no yeah. real one person that you would identify as a as a chili eating contestant. It's right. it's interesting. I mean, you you there's there's a few kind of repeat characteristics that you see. There's always 
the one that complains that their chili is larger than the person's next to them. Yeah, which um, doesn't matter. Which is, it doesn't matter. And I mean, because the, theirs the, could be seventy percent hotter. Exactly. I mean, chilies vary in their heat, even yeah. if it's the same variety as we know. You know, yeah. we always say like jalapeno maybe three to five thousand. So, yeah. you know, I mean, you could your your neighbor's chili could be smaller, but it could be close to oh, twice as hot. So. You never know, but you always get those, and we always. My retort to that every time is that no winner of any competition that we've ever hosted has ever complained about the size of the pod that they've got. No. So not one person. No. So no, it's always entertainment, and then but it's you get. I mean, you get people that come by. I mean, you you know, we've got to be obviously we've got to sort of duty of care, but you know, people come up and they try and you know that they've had a load of beer or whatever, and we don't let them in, and we've had problems with that, but. Yeah, we've yeah. had those that have had a few teaspoons of extract or yeah. something first to kind of Just acclimatize. Yeah, 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 so, so no. we don't allow those in. Right. No, you want everybody on an even keel. Yeah. Um, and, and we've always said, isn't it, statistically, um, females that have never done it before. Females? Females. Women. 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 Okay. Ladies. Right. Hello, ladies. ladies. Hello, ladies. <laughs> females. <laughs> All right. All right, women. All right, female. All right, male. It's a bit sexist. Or indoors. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to get a break um, of uh, comments now. <laughs> the ladies. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Lady, you know. Um, that's David Williams, if everyone didn't know that one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, they might not know how in America and places like that. No, it's anyway, not. anyway, little brim. Um, yeah, women. All right, women. So women, women that have never done it before, as in never eaten chilies before, yeah. um, often fare really well. Yeah, and quite a lot of the time, go on to win it. So that's always one that we always look out for because most of the time, probably. Eighty percent of the time, it's it's men yeah. that are in those competitions. I mean, we've had all male competitions many times, many, many times. but it's the women that often well, so surprise. This weekend, us. we've got uh, Clary, haven't we? She's Clary. Clary. Yeah. So she won Girl Stock Saturday. Was it eating competition about two years ago? Yeah. Yeah. So she's, two years she's ago, in three years ago. Yeah, that's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting because yeah. I mean she'll be dealing with hotter peppers this year as well. Yeah, so we've got hotter stuff. Oh, since we've got a good range this year. Haven't we? We've got some brutal oh, ones, uh, absolutely, absolutely brutal ones. Oh. I mean, once we hit those super hots, those super hots yeah. are going to be relentless. But then, I mean, you know, I'm not going to name. Well, I probably will name job, but it's like we get phone calls from TV companies asking us where do we get chilies from and da 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 and. You know, do we grow them? And you know, we put them in contacts because um, you know, you guys out there, you can listen to this any time of year. But obviously, the UK, we do have a growing season, like the majority of the world. You know, like Southern Hemisphere is opposite to what the Northern Hemisphere is. So at Christmas, they've got chilies over here. We don't. Yep. Um, however, we've got some real good contacts that we use to sometimes supply us with a couple of chilies because we do grow our own chilies. We do. Um, and. Uh, but we do need help um, because you know unless we had almost an acre of greenhouse maybe or half an acre of greenhouse heated lighted mm. um, all year round then we could have chilies all year round but yeah. then that one pod would cost you probably about 10 quid or something like that <laughs> in the most expensive chili competition going yeah. so we do use people and you know um, the Chili Mash Company Tenerife Chili Farm um, Chili of the Valley there are you know a a, a few people out there that really do help and support us. Um, however, we do pay for the cheese. We don't get them for free. No, no, good. No, 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 no. You know, you know, you guys out there. You know, there's a there's actually quite a lot of admin to running a chili in competition as well. And uh, you know, there's. Uh, I mean, we we do it our way. We have settled into our way. We've sort of dissected looked at it and reflected on it and you know it's the way we do you know we have a number of people so we always have a compare we always um, have a camera person that's normally me um, and uh, I secretly do hand signals to the compare just to alert because obviously like yourself yeah. uh, and you and that if you're behind you can't really see sometimes no um, it's good it's but good. then we've got chili our chili hands as well which uh, the guys that hand out chilies and they're the unsung heroes yeah well, um, I mean people like Nick who we touched on yeah, I mean Nick, Nick Mike, you know what I mean? he's a steady hand isn't he so, Mike Tree absolutely um, blimey loads of P there's, there's loads and then we, we do we have you know people you know every, everyone sort of like wants to help and we do um, and we do indoctrinate and this, right, this is how it goes um, but it, you know they, they, they've got a sort of fast and furious job because they're handing out chilies, they're clearing up, they're, you know, because 
you know, you, you guys, you watch the videos and that, and you know, some people would pick up, oh, hang on about that guy wasn't sat next to that guy a minute ago. Well, what we do is basically, once somebody drops out, we then remove the chair, the name plaque, um, get them off stage in a sensible manner um, and safe. And then what we do is we then compress by moving the people up. So the the, the final two or three or whatever are basically in the centre of the table. Yeah. Um, which yeah. makes a better viewing for the crowd, better view for the audience, better view for filming as well, yeah. and easy to manage for the yeah, combat. Yeah, it's certainly a lot easier. We yeah. can secrets away here, are we? No, I don't think so. I mean, it's all on video. Yeah, it's true. all on video, yeah. so... Yeah, no, it's funny, actually, because we, we touched on... You say we do it our own way and we're settled into it, which we, we are, and, and, it, and it works. And um, we were just discussing, obviously, the, the fact what our rules were. Yeah. So we touched on the fact that, you know... You, if you drink, you're done. Yeah. That's it. You're out. Unless you're the winner, of course. Mm. Um, if you reject the chili, then you're out. Yeah. And then, of course, the other one is you've got to eat it all. Yeah. You've got to eat the whole thing right down to the stalk. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people will try and not bluff us, but they will eat the flesh. And then when they get to the seeds and the, the the sort of the the, the pith, if you will, and, and whatnot, they, they don't want any of that. But no. that's got to be eaten. Yeah. So for me, actually, my tactic, my tip would always be to to take the stalk off and eat the top first, get it done, get yeah. it out of the way, because what you get after that is actually the it's, more pleasant part of the chili. Yeah, exactly. And then I, I mean, but, we get we also get a lot of comments that people go, "Oh, I just swallow it whole." Well, no. actually, a lot of these chilies, trust me, you cannot, <laughs> or if you did try and swallow it whole, put it this way, you'd, you'd be getting the, the paramedics on stage because they would seriously block your esophagus. Yeah, absolutely. Um, the, you might be able to do it with one or two, like the little Thai reds or something like that, at a push, but yeah. um, e- even that I would be... you look like a crocodile, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, they sort of snap. Yeah, like, that's it. <laughs> like that. Or uh, a pelican with a fish. You're just naming animals now, or yeah? No, I just thought about it. I like nature, but the <laughs> been reading your animal book this morning. Yeah, yeah. I've been looking at my picture. <laughs> yeah, I went to the zoo, and this is what I saw. Well, I did yeah. drive past Bristol Zoo, okay. but the um, yeah, yeah. So chewing it, and you know, the reason they chew it, and we make them chew it, is because then they get the heat. That's the whole point, you know. So you got things. If you know, say if you could swallow all the chilies whole, well, you'd experience no heat. Yeah. So that's the point. So, you know, the, the, I wouldn't say the doubt is out there, but the, the people that do, and we do get people that go, oh, chew it all. Mm, that absolutely completely defeats the object yeah. of the game. We have had one person where um, they had a medical condition, didn't they, where they couldn't taste any foods. Mm. Um, so um, There's they, a name for that. Yeah, I don't, I don't, brilliant. <laughs> in, in, yeah. in chili eating competitions, actually, yeah. I would hate life if I couldn't taste food. Yeah. Um, but they, people thought he would win because he had that condition because he wouldn't yeah. be able. He, he, allegedly, he wouldn't be able to detect heat. But um, that's it's interesting because capsaicin obviously is is a neurotoxin, so it's sending a false signal to the brain saying that you're burning when in fact nothing's actually happening. I mean, yeah. if you you know if you're of, uh, of a, a very, well, I don't know what you call it, zen state. If you're yeah. very at one with your body, mind, and spirit, then you can effectively convince yourself there is no pain. But um, I, I ain't one of those people. I feel every ounce of it. Yeah. <laughs> but but then, how, I don't know how that works with the tongue. Because would he not find it as an irritant on his skin, but then not on the tongue? I don't know how it, how it well, works. Well, yeah, because your, your taste buds are, um, are different, aren't they? There's, yeah. there's quite a lot of science into it. Um, I mean, one of the, one of the one of the basic sciences is, is actually why do us mammals detect heat? Um, well, actually, it's to do with the capsaicin, but actually that's the plant's defence mechanism. Because in nature, what the plants uh, I, they don't just sit there and go, Ooh, how do we defend ourselves? It's interesting how they do it. But anyway, um, <laughs> but it's a, it's the plant's defence mechanism. Yeah. So like they don't want these can... animals eating it. But what they want. It's birds, yeah. And I think is it birds are colour blind, so they can't see red because obviously red means danger to us. Mm-hmm. Um, You'd think, and, predo- yeah, <laughs> and predominantly, generically, most chilies go red. Um, that's a different subject. Um, but then, so red means danger, hence why we don't eat it. Like you know, you got your berries, your rowing berries, you got your other fruits that go red. It means poison. You yeah. know, your, your uh, mushrooms and stuff like that, fly, fly agaric and stuff like that. 
Uh, lovely mushroom. Don't eat it. Mm. Um, but then, in nature, birds, it's designed that they will then eat the chilies and oh, ooh, seeds and that. They then digest them because they could, birds are completely immune. Um, and then they fly away and they do poop poops when they're flying. And yes. then that's how the chilies spread their seeds. Yeah, well, I once saw a video on YouTube of somebody giving seagull hot sauce. And the seagull obviously was in distress. Was it? <laughs> yeah. Seriously, go to YouTube. I'll, I'll show you it once we're done recording this. There's a guy that gives hot sauce to a seagull, and it, That's probably it's, the vinegar. it's in the right set. I wonder what it is. I don't it's know what it is. Vinegar. Yeah, it could be. Saying that the seagull should be immune to vinegar anyway, because you've got um, they go around nicking fish and chips all the time, anyway. Well, no, they're probably addicted to vinegar then. Aren't they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but I, don't, I don't know what kind of addiction seagulls have. So, no. <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. Hmm. Anyway, we were talking rules, weren't we? Did we get through all the rules? Milk, so you can't drink, yeah. can't reject it you have to eat the whole chili um, oh one of the other ones I mean it doesn't come up very often I'm trying to think if it, if it ever come up is we reserve the right to pull people out of the competition if we feel for, fear for their kind of we've almost done state. it state I know we almost did it at yeah. Blackpool definitely at Blackpool there was yeah. a guy that was because that was a standing competition as well so yeah. uh, and he was shaking and his yeah, knees were was, going yeah. and I wasn't sure about him at all and he kind of went to Blackpool and standing um, that's not the way to run a chili in <laughs> that was out of our control yeah um, <clears throat> but beyond that I don't think I don't think I've ever personally pulled anybody out of a competition but we do reserve that right um, yeah, because I'm, I'm, I mean, like when I'm filming, you know, I'm literally at the front of the desk and I'm monitoring people anyway. Mm. Um, and like, like I mentioned earlier, so I, I will do hand signals and um, stuff to make so like either you or the other part of the team aware. Um, but yeah, no, no, we haven't done anything. No, I mean, people sign a disclaimer, so that's the other thing with our competitions is that they all sign a legally binding disclaimer. Yeah stating that they understand that they're going to do something that's yeah. not recommended, really, that's a bit daft, um, mm. and that they've got a clean bit of health. But then you and I have done it, and then you just keep going, and you just, this, I don't know, this com- competition thing comes over you, doesn't it? This sort of natural instinct, I've got to beat the man next to me. <laughs> I'm going to eat that, chili. And you're like, I went, I'm dying. <laughs> but you, it's just an, it's a natural human instinct, isn't it? Yeah. Sort of that like caveman, sort of Neanderthal. Neanderthal, alpha male kind yeah. of one up one ship, I yeah. suppose. I don't know, then I think there are, there are those that have the flip side to it, which they just don't want to be the first one out. No. They're, they're, not, they're not thinking they're going to win it, but they just don't want to be the first one no. to kind of stand up and leave. So, but Because that's a domino effect, as we know. Once the first person goes, yeah. everybody else goes, ah, oh, that's yeah. all right, I'm not last, so I'm all right to give yeah. it a, give it a rest person. now and, and off we not go. Not get booed off the stage. No, well, but, nobody does. We always try and whip yeah. the crowd to but make well, sure. We've keep had some everyone on the side. crowds, though, haven't we? Have uh, we ever? The, have we ever? I think my I mean, favourite, the one that will stay in my head for a long old time, is Grillstock in London last year. Yeah, that was um, um, on the Saturday, was it? Yeah, yeah, the sheer sea of people, the sea of people, and that was um, first time we'd done it. Well, first time Grillstock had had the the festival there. First time we we we'd sort of done a competition in London yeah. and. Um, it was just full on awesomeness. So that that was that was really that was really amazing. good. Yeah. Um, actually, Reading the other week, Reading Chili Festival. Right, that, yeah. Do you know what? Small crowd in comparison, but pff, they were they were no, they behind were it big time. But that's the thing, though. I think you know, it's it's you got to get the crowd up. You got to get crowd involved and get them counting, doing the countdown and everything like that, um, and then get them up and you know. And I think you know, mm. that's the, you know, I've compared chili eating competition in the past as well so you know it's it's down to you know it's you've got to have energy yeah you've got to have energy you've got to get them involved um and you know but they're great but i think what's great as well is that um we can i I, I do occasionally sit down and watch one of the videos that we've done years ago or whatever um and they are good and they're there and then people love it because I mean, we still well, people contact us all the time. I spoke to Clary, Clary only yesterday, um, because they they go home a day or two later, a video appears and they can show all their mates and they share. Oh, this me. is what I do, it's like yeah, show and tell, isn't it? This is what I do during the weekend. <laughs> um, but it it gives them a bit of pride, you know. They they've got a long term memory. Um, okay, our filming isn't BBC standard. Um, however, I mean, 
you go back and look at one of our first chili eating commentaries and videos. Um, I think one of them was probably me. In fact, no, no, probably yeah, it was me in the grill stock one. Mm. And you look at the the uh, what was filmed and how it was put together and that it's but you like that. And then and it looked great then. Compare that to what we literally produced the other week. It's amazing the, the difference in filming, editing. Um, also interactive information like the Scoville heat ratings mm-hmm. of the chili, etc., etc., and it and it does, and you know, um, we just hope you guys out there really, really well, yeah, um, you do like them because you know we've got videos with over two million, yeah, three, two million, three. no, two million definitely, yeah, over two million, on it's over three million, it's over three now, is it? Gosh. But, I mean, others, you know, there are others with yeah. over a million, others with yeah. hundreds of thousands, so it's it's yeah. uh, it's obviously a popular thing. Right. Um, it's I don't know, I can't work it out, though. Is it is it, do people watch, is it morbid curiosity, or is it, yes. um, you think it's morbid curiosity? Yeah. Not right. not what you might call schadenfreude, which is a German word, isn't it, which literally means to sort of kind of take pleasure or joy from somebody else's misfortune. Yeah, but we've had people comment on, haven't we? We've, I remember we've had people with open going, You've just brightened up my day. Yeah. You know, like, okay, I was having a really bad day. Watch one of your videos, and it was amazing. And you've just uplifted me. You're like, okay, brilliant. But it's no. I think I think what you have is people who watch it, um, knowing that no one's going to actually die on screen, um, but they know that people are going to be pushed to the sort of outer limits. Yeah. And people do react differently. Yeah, I think it's worth addressing actually because um, <laughs> people. Again, we get this from the contestants before the competition. We, they, you always get one or two people who go, "Is this going to kill me?" They're all, it's, it's, it's said mainly in jest, yeah. but sometimes you can yeah. sense a slight <laughs> tone of seriousness in there. Yeah. Um, and the, the the facts, as I understand them, is as we've discussed already, uh, chilies can aggravate a condition. Yes. So if you've got if you haven't got a clean bill of health, then you're going to be doing yourself no favor. This is one of the reasons we create these discla- disclaimers is because if they're not telling us something, you know, if they've got um, you know, uh, oh dude, are you we're, we're in a small room, don't do that. Okay. <laughs> I'll give you guys that are listening to work out what Dave was trying to do there. Um, so it's coming yeah, out. if <laughs> don't. um so yeah, if um, the so, so so guys ask us and they say, "Is it going to kill us?" And, and the facts, as I understand them, is is chilies can aggravate pre-existing conditions. So if you have got like a stomach ulcer, or something like that, weak Are heart, blood pressure. No, no, you got stomach ulcer again? No, I won the other year, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know about. No, no, we, you found you did know about it. Eventually, know. you knew about yeah, because yeah. the Bristol Royal Infirmary found out about it as well. Yeah, so seven days in hospital. Yeah, it's anyway, that's another that, story. I know. <laughs> Do you remember when I was in the hospital with my um, knee operation? The first thing I wake up to is you, but yeah. I, but I had a bottle of hot sauce with me that's as well. Fine. He bought me yeah. a bottle of hot sauce. So <laughs> the hospital food tasted. We were, go- we were we were going to do a review in the hospital bed. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> no, Jay would have been in the hospital, but I'd been to the side. Yeah. But yeah, no, nah, never mind. <laughs> Didn't work. But yeah, it's, but, um, but yeah, so pre-existing conditions and stomach ulcers and all that. But then um, people think that eating too much chili can kill you. Um, whereas, as like we've already said, it's a neurotoxin, so it's it's kind of it's tricking the body into thinking there's something wrong when there really there isn't. But do you know what? It's been calculated actually. I'm trying to think who did the research. Was it New Mex? Was it New Mexico Institute or something like that? Did some research and calculated that if a human being could consume three pounds of uh, dried and ground ghost pepper powder yeah. uh, in one sitting and keep it down, then it could kill them. Yeah. So that's. So three, just over, so three pounds is about is just under a kilo and a half. Yeah, yeah. yeah, um, kilo, yeah. Now bearing in mind what the dried weight of the chili is, around about ten percent of what yeah. um, a, a, a fully ripe, undehydrated or non-dehydrated yeah. or fully hydrated chili is. So if that, so, you're talking effectively fifteen kilos worth of chilies that has been dried down. Um, I don't know about you, but I think after the first teaspoon, I'd be done. Yeah, so dry, to it? to to actually, and then even if you did take in that that full three pounds, your body's just going to go no way, yeah. <laughs> and, and that's going to come up. Will, yeah, it will do. It go into self defence mode, and it will because you know the, the body does um, and will detect and make you vomit. Yeah, your your mouth yeah. would be like Vesuvius. Yeah, 
You know what I mean? It'll literally be spewing up hot lava. It'll just be the most vile thing ever. Yeah, but just imagine the other end. Oh, there's that that volcano. Well, hang on, if you've, eaten, if you've eaten the three pans, mate, then you, yeah. you you're done apparently. Anyway, so yeah. the, the other end won't be your problem. It's like, it's like that lava lava flow in Hawaii. It's just continuous. And that's what it'd be like. Uh, the other end. Uh, uh, something for the mortician to worry about, surely. Because <laughs> well, after three pans, apparently that's it. It's game yeah. over. So, uh, I think, but, I think, um, so yeah. Anyway, what our understanding is and still is that it won't. It won't kill you. You may wish you wanted to, you know, you wish you were dead, but. Yeah, we, yeah, we have a few times. <laughs> um, and you will get the cap cramps, as we discussed earlier, yeah. but. But there's, there's, there's tons of chili eating competitions run all around the world. Absolutely loads. Um, and uh, it's interesting to watch. I mean, there was one in Alaska not too long ago, actually. Um, but the. They're, they're inter- interesting to watch. And, um, we, well, we've seen similar things when we went to America and mm. you know when uh, Italy you know um, the the Diamante Peppadoncino Festival um, you know we've seen how other nations do them how they run I mean you got the the, um, the one in Czech Republic you, they run around all around the world so yeah. wherever, you, wherever you are um, seriously um, oh you know well actually you could look at because we've got the map on our website haven't we yeah and we um Anyone can advertise their own free their chili event, um, and we'll check it out. And make sure it is a bona fide chili event, and stick a pin. Yeah. So, and we've got events on there in America, Australia, New Zealand, uh, Czech Republic, Italy, Finland. So we've got pins all over the, over the thing. And you know, seriously, you know, if you're out there, yeah, please keep watching our videos and um, enjoy them. But then have a look on the map because actually, no matter where you are, there might be a chili festival near you. Um, we can't say whether there's going to be a cheap eating competition at that event. You'd have to go to the links that we've put on there and, um, and have a look yourselves. But um, the point is, is that you can find out a festival near you and potentially it, that could have a chili eating competition because they are they are so good to watch, um, so entertaining. As long as you've got uh, the hype, the the atmosphere is right. It's magic, and and they are great fun to watch and they are great well why not enter there you go <laughs> yeah. yeah you don't know until you tried prizes can vary a little bit yeah. <laughs> so, uh, oh massively massively we yeah. don't always have a say in it do we but um, yeah it can be a financial it can be monetary prize or it can be uh, certainly like again with girls stuck over the last couple of years it's those Drummond and Hammett box guitars that yeah. actually you know Printed up in the state, you know, chili eating competition yeah. winner and all that, which is very yeah. cool looking. Yeah, well, like you said, it's down to the events. Um, you know, the biggest prize is respect. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. And I, you know, and, you know, and some people go, oh, you know, you, you see some of the comments on YouTube, and you, oh, we do it for that, you know, you know, and they come out of all sort of profanities and things. But you know, at the end of the day, it's not all about money. You know, if you're going into a chili eating competition because it's got a thousand dollar or a thousand pound prize well that it, it can get a bit silly then because you've got all the people competing for this amazing prize and actually that's when it could get dangerous um, because you're going to have people pushing themselves just that little bit more yeah, to go point. I want that thousand dollars or pounds or whatever um, you know and it's just like actually are you doing it to be the, the winner of the Chile competition or are you just doing it to win a thousand pounds yeah and that's where i'd raise the question is actually morally i th- personally i think that's wrong that's my opinion um you know i mean you know i mean like you said some of the places there's no cash price people do it for the respect the you know the you know the, the end result and oh, i am you know and they get a massive hamper of chili products which is probably the last thing they want yeah, no I, I want a prize if i'm gonna enter yeah. and win one i want a prize yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm shallow i need something to show yeah. for it yeah. but, you know, <laughs> It shouldn't be money driven. No, you know, no. You shouldn't, you know. No, I agree with that. I mean, yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm talking, you know, mini, yeah. mini trophies. I no, don't really right. care what, but yeah. just, just a little bit of something. Just yeah. <laughs> so that's one thing. Over in the UK, it's very hard to get like a chili themed um, uh, trophy. So if anyone's it out is. there, you know, that can help out, drop us a thing because we want a chili themed uh, trophy. It's not just for chili eating competitions, but for other things we get up to. Yeah, absolutely. Well, before we wrap up, um, just thinking about any sort of anecdotes, any sort of funny situations 
that we've witnessed at, um, uh, during Chilean competitions. And um, there's a couple actually that spring spring to head for me definitely. One was um, in Swindon a couple of years ago when um, do you remember there was a young lass that entered? She she yeah. wasn't old enough, I don't think, to enter. So I think she had um, her uh, parent or guardian or yeah. whoever it was so, um, sort of you know gave the permission. And she she didn't make it to the end, but she no. I think she was second or third. Something like she, she, she did really very well. well. Yeah. And then backstage, she was obviously feeling the heat, to say the least. And um, I went up to her and I just said, like, "Okay, here's the deal. You've got around about thirty minutes to to make a decision because after thirty minutes, your stomach's going to want to push that down most likely and want to digest it, and then you've got a world of pain potentially yeah. for the next up to say twenty four hours." And obviously, the, the 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 alternative is is not dignified, but it, two fingers down the throat, get it out. Yep. And that's if your body doesn't do that naturally, which it seems to do for you and I anyway. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, <laughs> so um, she's like, yeah, right, I'm going to be sick. Um, and then she she leant over the railing. And was I, th- I think she was actually about to be naturally sick rather than sticking her fingers down her throat. But her instinct was to cover her mouth with her hand. So oh. she did that. Um, she covered her mouth completely, but then threw up. So the problem then is that she's thrown up a load of, well, God knows what, but predominantly chili. Um, and she's effectively spread it all over her face. Yeah. So then she had a big red sort of mark, she looked like a, a bad joker from Batman, <laughs> um, where her entire face reacted with the capsaicin. And uh, her face was, she, she was in absolute agony with it for a while. So literally just pouring milk over herself and just trying to dab herself down. So um, now, I'm, you know, I, I'm listing this under a funny anecdote. But, uh, I mean, at the time, it probably wasn't very funny for her. But uh, in hindsight, watching it, it was yeah. very amusing. <laughs> but well, I guess that is schadenfreude, isn't it? I am taking joy yeah. in somebody else's misfortune right now. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I've seen some hilarious... I'm trying to think because it's like you, know, you get people reacting in so many different ways. And I, do you know what? The, I, what I f- find funny is when you, you get a contestant that before they come, like, yeah, I'm this, I'm that, da, da, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, I'm going, yeah, I will see you in half an hour, mate. <laughs> see you in half an hour. And then literally, second or third round in, they're like, ah, uh, uh, and they out. That's the like, one. That reminds me, I think that was, was it two years ago? Um, again, I think it's at Grill Stock. There was a guy in Bristol, real poker face, long sort of trench coat, sunglasses. Um, he came third, if I remember correctly, because it ultimately did get him, even though he was sort of giving it a bit of a big I am and, and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and we gave him the same advice and said, right, you've ingested a lot of heat. You're, yeah. you're going to hit a world of problems. Yeah. And he was... It was a very much a bravado situation because he turned around and said, "No, I'll be fine. I'm yeah. all right. Don't worry about it. I That's can right. take it. I can take the heat." Yes. And because I, I remember saying to him, I said, "Dude, look, you've got nothing to prove to me. Yeah. Um, we've done I'm, it. I'm just yeah, we've this done it. I know advice. what's going to happen next. Yeah. This is what you need to do." Um, I said, "Just, just be aware." And he's yeah. like, "No, no, no. I'll right. be fine, dude. Don't worry. I'm going to go out on the pierce now, etc., yeah. etc." Et and then. Um, the next thing you know, he's in the hospital. In Bristol. No, it, was, it was the next day we were informed, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, next. Yeah, so next day we were informed that this guy ended up in hospital at two a.m. with serious uh, capsaicin cramps and yeah. absolute agony and couldn't couldn't do anything to deal with the pain. And he was on the morphine. So, and he was on a morphine drip. So <laughs> um, there is a sensibility in that few moments of, of unpleasantness, just shoving your fingers down your throat and getting out of you yeah, again. It so, pays to listen. Yeah, I mean, this, this is chilly abuse, really, isn't it? I mean, you know, our, our, our ethos and our, our kind of, um, our objectives and everything that we try and do as a club, it's, it's every much about, education and uh, enjoying chili and using it and respecting it I mean it's almost hypocritical in a funny kind of way but th- th- this is abuse um, this is kind of people testing their metal and, and seeing how yeah. f- it's kind of a human endurance thing isn't it so oh, um, it's, it is it is I mean it's not everything we do but it is a lot of fun and it is um, it's very fascinating to, to, to sort of witness and watch and be part of you know, and it's, it's, I mean it's getting out and about and seeing people meeting new people um, you know, different 
locations and everything like that. I'm, yeah. I'm chilling, oh, I love them. Brilliant. Good Yeah, fun. absolutely. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for listening, downloading, whatever you've done in order to uh, access this podcast, whether it's on SoundCloud or, or YouTube or whatever. So it's it really cool of you to dedicate your time to, to listening to us yeah. waffle on as we do. We try not to leave it so long between uh, this and the next one. Have a safe uh, trip to work. Yeah. Or when you're out jogging. <laughs> look yeah, left, look right. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, guys. Keep well, going. thank you so much. I've been Jay and with me, Chili Dave, and yeah. we'll see you on thank the next podcast. Yeah, take care, guys. Thank you very much. Bye. Au